Uh, hello and welcome to another first impression vlog on a new cartoon feeling. Oh, I have to go low. It must have been Ben 10 or something. Time uh, for another one, and today we got a Disney cartoon. Billy Dilly Scooper Duper Scumterranean Scummer. Try and that five times fast. Yeah, going forward, I'm just going to call it show Billy Dilly whenever I talk about it. So, anyway, this one should probably be quicker than some of the other ones, but, there you go. Of the four cards who did the officially produced game, one of them is an original property, and that's this one. The other card, well, he one was a reboot, well, and the other two at he didn't go with team hearing a pre of a movie, two hundred of a movie. The retain hearing, hearing spend the rebooting that tale. So this is an original. And well, before I even say anything, this did not seem to particularly well. Why? Because at least like past early half of the he one got like, 13 episodes, 13 half hours, both of them to get them at that show. Um, and a majority of those 13 are on like the app at the moment or being released with one being aired a day for what's well, like week of go June or even most of June. Yeah, they aired a second one today for example, like a can by the way. Rerun later on the day to be fair, but like in a few, like 10 minutes of yeah, I don't know if we are at the moment, but next we get a review of it. What's the point of that King Cammy? I mean, if you can't air it later on at a more convenient time, but I'm out of four, so. Oh, wow. But, but anyway, going back, Big Word ended up bombing it out pretty quickly for like the first week or two of June. But first show, only like, first thing I was going to for Keegan. And we're not doing that and not the Keegan thing before, but for that good premiere, because we did the other one. Which they've already done for bigger gift, by the way. They didn't do it for the show. Because the show gonna die out pretty quickly, which it can. Because for any show, it could, you know. But, most of the not going to be talking about because we're dreaming at the beginning, and it's not sure what's driving a lot of people to begin with. Anyway, but let's we'll talk about the first half hour of the show when I feel about it. I'm interested in going in. Not that the coach of golf, but because of creator, Aaron Springer. Yeah, so you might remember Aaron Springer being a right. He's done a lot of things. I still believe he was a writer for Premier League Spongebob, but could go join the staff of Pope League Spongebob, which when he got worse and worse, and then got Keaton Kick with his low point as a writer because he's quite a boy. Um, the Dear Vikings, the Governor, the Patch Killer Control from Winter, that's the regular stuff, the, the Patch stuff. You know, he got better after that, to be fair, but. <laughs> Yeah, but he left the hearing after Hello Bikini Bomb, which is a good note, and, and done baking other stuff again, but not a whole lot to go right against that. But now I'm creating this show for Disney, and I have no idea if he worked for Disney before, but but I don't know, I don't think he has, but I could be wrong on that. The Black County Garrity phone was directing. I don't know if he's done it right, but he's here, the creator of the show. And so on coaching writing staff, one of those people had to be Beverly Williams. I talked about her before, and I'm not doing the, that thing. Nor if Aaron don't feel like making it again. I don't think we're using it from a month ago. So, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, um, I believe Vic Mars revealed that Mary Williams would not be coming back to her because she did work on commercial stuff like this. Go. So, Nor everything else will come back because he's working on this. And speaking of my job, Goo, I can't put on Gurbach, it got on the show too, which I didn't know three days ago when I looked it on Wikipedia. And I got Brian, and I posted it on Twitter like a bit ago. You probably already saw it if you're from Twitter. Then if you're from the email or Twitter. But either way, the Twitter, you probably already know that. But yeah, go Airfringer, Barrow Ever William, and Goo, what's your face? Why do we staff up? People that people rationally hate sometimes because of their recent past. But Luke was well, getting better because he started doing some decent writing for Star Wars and again after Grandpa and uh, his wife was Clarence. Um, so, but that cat, let's take a look at the new show and see how the first episode will pink out. And they're not going to get out at the moment, but I'm joining you by just this first one. And I'll probably review up uh, again, like with the other show, and after I watch more, I might get you. With my not my final night opinion. Just what I think of the first episode and what I've been going for. Okay. Got the two or two episodes on the Lab Friends Forever and the second one is Surviving Billy. Go. 
and and derived a bunch of people, including Mary William and Goof, whatever. Well, only Goof and Goose are the ones that wanted it. Better Mary William. Can, there's other people. There's like five writers on them. Um. So, but we can apply it to that. The kid named Billy Dilly, he created a cheat creator for a kind of fair project. And through Freak Agnes, he and a friend, he and Marsha, end up being deep underground in the sculpturing world filled with monsters and, you know, very creatures or whatever. And they're being stuck there with she Creator being broken, and it's going to take at least three months in order to finish it, and that's going to take up basically the whole summer. And hence the name, Sculpturing in Summer. And they got to buy about trying to create anything as well like Billy and the Ghost. So, right off the bat, I do got a question regarding the premise and that do the parents know where we are? Because the parents are not even mentioned. In fact, before the outcome tell you start bring it out card, there's a theme song before that, you get a sort of something I feel like applying that uh, crap down the reality they've got the backstory. You got Billy narrating the story of how it happened and it's a quick version of Really, a couple of bigger. I, I feel like that should be for them because, like, maybe a choice to release a quarter of it in the get up and playing who we kept of R before they get the situation, then do I'm getting into the situation. Well, now it becomes dark and we have arrived in you know, Terrania or whatever we're calling it. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we don't know. Again, they create a call when they go in the go. It's not like the whole hidden, the people could, and they create big enough effort, I could see some people want to call you for it and have them go down the hole and look at what's down there and call their parents who will make the computer, no ref to that at all. Maybe they'll ref that later on, you know, but that is kind of weird that that's not a direct or anything like that. They could have written any kind of scheme private parents don't know, like they all their parents happen to be somewhere out for the whole Summer and they may have part of why they may bond for game. I don't know, they could come up with something. And I'll come show, try not to show their parents, but in the show, I think it may get to reveal them. Or maybe, oh, they could have to go and have a show with them. I don't know, I thought that was interesting. But I won't judge it on that. Go. Anyway, go. Think another one did it get to make a sort of wackier theory, kind of cut out adult swim, kind of ask. They did pick up peanut, they did feature worm. Now this, and they've done other shows like that, but they've got a big one for Disney XD. And, um, I don't compare to a show other one, it got for Pickle Pino to become featured one, by the way, got removed from King King and after a sort of fan demand for it. And yet, Wanda of Yonder is still in limbo. Featured one is fine, you know. Compared to Pickle Pino, okay, yes, it is better than Pickle Pino, but that's really okay. I mean, critically, I mean, Eating dog turtle pipe better than watching the computer. No. But anyway, kind of a show I get in. Uh, both think I'm coming for alright. I came out a lot, but this one is vaguely true. But I think that potential would be the entertaining show. But not a particularly special one. It's more of a kind of show you would watch with not much help on. And that's kind of how I felt with. But I wrote. I think I wrote a first special thing for Jeff Lee Gatcher and Clive Shane be both beginning. And. And then beat, then you can read that if you want my opinion on both shows. I got to watch what they have come just like that. That was pretty good. The other show, but clearly I don't know if you watch anything else because it's not going to happen anyway. But again, maybe. But I'm more curious to see what the outcome of the other going to like, but not rushing. This show, I'm going to keep up with for a week up until the first, like, bomb is over. Then we'll see if I want to keep up with it. Like Tangled, Tangled, or Fight like, Cloudy, or Bumpkin, I'm just gonna at that pop up periodically and see what's going on. But you know, they're a good thing or a bad thing, but I think overall it's alright. I don't think anything is too bad. I feel like the kind of show it's not for everyone. I mean, you got a lot of people complain about the uh, style of the show being kind of weird or ugly, and I think the first show actually looked pretty good. But like the only thing I have the work, you got the big cheek and it just you look kind of like Clarence for a little bit. <laughs> um, voiced by Aaron Springer, actually, who, ha, he has kind of right. I don't know, he's supposed to be working on out, performing a play, and I don't know who ever's working like, but this one, it's a little annoying. You get used to it, but I feel like some people might, if you don't like Clarence or Voight, it's not that similar, but if you don't like that kind of voice, if you don't like a voice of that nature, you probably don't like this one either. Well, well. But everyone else I think looks pretty good. They, you know, I feel like 
I feel like there's a karate quality to it and it's nice and cartoony and well and made for the most part, I feel like. You know, it makes it a little bit of time better than future ones, I think. Yeah, that one looks really too bad, but you know. It's a little cleaner to me. Yeah, definitely a kind of gloating that kind of can yeah, and printer. So yeah, I think it makes one I could look totally fine. And everything else can you know, there. Um the first step I feel like the first two episodes should combine to get twenty two episodes because the first episode they arrive in there and they learn about the bank go wet there and they have bit go where you get to know character. And we we had the bit where Billy where they can kinda of game uh, you got ying yang in the situation, but I'll make sure everything all fine. And the kick up go to more general and conviving. But the kick up will feel like basically even making a part two of the first episode with him. Yeah, going deeper into how we're gonna survive and they survive stuff for a lot of the episode, you know. And that would feel a lot more what the pilot kind of should have been. Because I like that one a lot more. You know, I'm kind of worried it'd be a little more annoying, but it was a little better. I feel like we're better to go on 22 minute episode instead of 2 like, minute, you know. It's kind of weird what we did. And at that point, I mean, I'm gonna start making a little cheat on there. Um. There we that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, in terms of the character, Billy Jolie himself is one I feel like I'm gonna kind of vote. I don't like the work kind of work, I don't like the design, and character himself is you can kind of care. For me, that particularly positive one that I don't know what pet gonna take, but you know, alright. I feel like I have to go, go, go on here and come more like well, cause that you know, early on, he is that smooth, annoying type, but he got good, you know, bulk of positivity. And you know, I like how he does the argument take at a few points, like, oh, I think screwed up, you know, and that's nice. I'm gonna go particularly nice moment, got kind of part, well, got to go where he had to let go, he had doll thing and he had to let go of it in order to get a friend which was nice. He kicked it back at the very end of though by lacking it which was not kinda of bad but oh well. Um go so, yeah he get better. The other two I do like more. You got Marshall the female character, yeah you know what to expect yeah, character. But you know, I like her she is a little skill. Like Geek more of a straight man. She starts off like you think she's gonna be one, but she gets kinda of silly. You know, like a when, um, yeah, there's one moment where go, we can't, I didn't expect to have, get eaten by a fire today. Just go, I did. Just, my whole cup got go. You packing to just something like that. And again, that was the next moment to show that. Yeah, he didn't get a cooking and treat, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm familiar with who worked Marshall, but Geek was by Tom Kenny. Again, Aaron Pranger. Um, and he, yeah, he, he can't put the cooking with a heifer one. And he, he gets the best funny flag, I think. He got a good snarker, I think. I like him. But no other consistent character because the rat, the rat. We can come um underground people like you know who do not like Christian Dweller and for that code but they'll appear in one and I feel they will appear. They even can appear periodically. Like uh Nikki, how are you doing? And uh they do not like Christian Dweller. For ringing I do not know. I don't know why they're called racist. But um, yeah. Yeah. Um I guess my big clunk of Triago is that they should have won 22 minutes ago because they kind of feel a little looky for the plot. But kind of go to have more call pop until it's dead being a new for plot. I mean, if you look at calling it Milo, the first plot, or the Luke for plot because it's a pilot, the kind of episode had a tighter plot, but can kind of go via opposite route. Yeah. But, that, yeah, but I feel like going forward they will have more solid plot. How much mileage can you get out of something like this? I don't know. They, they can. I mean, they for in Gavo. You might fall and get mileage at one location for a cover. Coke in this show. Yeah, I caught bug too. Um, yeah, as far as the humor one, like, it didn't care if they can get everything else. Because some of it, not too much grok out. Very little fart joke, but, but not kind of that. Nothing too gross. Kind of. Some of it kind of dumb, but I was a big part of the funny. I think we're starting from Geek of the Best through the Humor, but that's probably a good moment. I like Mr. Wetkin. Mr. Wetkin. That kind of code. And they even use live action in a pretty funny way. That was a funny thing of the whole half hour. I don't know, I just like that. Very framed. Mr. Wetkin in general, I like. Oh, I hope they make certain appearances. But he's the ball thing I mentioned. Um. 
You know, got a little muting about between the characters here and there. Yeah, nothing too like, but still there are some struggles here and there. More of an out of pocket bad thing. So, yeah, for the first half hour, they could give you what you would expect there. You know, I, you know, it got, you know, looking goofy plot of them, but he's just kind of trying to survive. The play got, character got kind of too much shape, but can be like, well, our style that actually is mostly appealing in a silly way. It's got some humor, but mostly it's okay humor. Go. But I found out okay, it was alright. I, I I love showing that game, but I will say I get more interested in gears going in with Ben 10. You know, yeah, or Cloudy, to be because I think more, more I like, or more I find entertaining. It could be more of an Uncle Grandpa type show, where it's not a show I'm gonna watch all the time, or kind of feel a little to think about, but I will watch it and get into it now. I'm gonna probably cast being in it. I'm gonna go to watch I watch it, but if I'm young, I'll just watch what I want. Yeah, I'm gonna be a pop. The show will probably be like that, but who knows how I feel after I watch even more after more than just one episode. Because if I watch Home Bomb, I can see it getting better and getting more consistently entertaining. But I don't think it's so like about consistent entertainment, you know? The gum show don't quite cry for much, you know? Can't tell him and say, and with a lot of people be down on show that don't. A lot of shows like Ben 10 and Cloudy and the that don't teach for people entertainment. A lot of people are just kind of turning their back on that to kind of count that and just want more shows that are heavier. Or we could show that game, Crack the Life, but can't be heavy at time, but be a bear. Why aren't going to count a bomb that soon? Actually, no, I don't mean a bomb. I mean, they're doing a whole meeting screen all in one day, then there can be a bomb of Red Velcro for the rest of the week. Okay. I'm okay with early release stuff, but the bombs that can do story. Um, <laughs> but like with the show, I feel like bombing it, show it start out. If you want to give your viewers a bigger take to the show, with just more episodes, that's fine. I like that. Um, I believe it did Bunkin, and I think that was fine the way we did. They did a lot of and look where that show gone. It beat two year recommend rating recently, and. Uh, I'm glad, I'm good, that uh, Chicago going great too, go, you know, maybe you could try this weekend with Wonder Woman, making you to money, I damn can't buy a catch around pan, but that better made more money, <laughs> they were both really pretty good, um, but I'm not, I can really say, let's okay, you know what kind of, you can tell from the problem what kind of show we're gonna get, whether you like it or not, and if you, fit the kind of show you could find, could find, you could see it growing on you as you watch more, then go ahead. But if it jumps you more in that kind of show, and thus you probably shouldn't watch much of it. But give it a chance, watch an episode, maybe two, half hour. You know, but I gave three half hour rule for this kind of show. I watched four for. I watched two for Cloudy and Bumpkin, and that four segment, and I think that kind of. But because both games because the time are so familiar, you might have to watch it after the third one. But, oh uh, well, this ain't gonna be a. Because Tangled is gonna have for today. You know, Disney can pick up a clock and you know, a lot of this. And I'm cool, but I'll get back in July. So, yeah, and first go for a few. So, yeah, I don't know when the next hearing, new hearing is. I might branch out, maybe do one from a thick lane thing. Like, well, I can't control a new show, I might watch that, or something like that, or something like that, or something like that. I, I don't know. Both of you know that pretty good. Anyway. anyway, but, if there's something new out there, just let me know. You know, and particularly anime, but I'm not opposed to some of that stuff, but, but, you know. And, um, that Rave Not Craven spinoff thing, which I'll do a journal on next month. They better reference coin off, man. Best anime, but Charmin can go. Yeah, I got that. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, Billy Dilly Cooper Duper Cup Train Gun. For that hour, it was fine. It was simple entertainment. I could see it getting more entertaining and fun and go along. I know uh, a friend of mine who watched Go VR or Up Goose and Apple Kids and Doug Kids better. Or at least more entertaining. But again, I don't. <laughs> no, well, she probably is not watching this, but <laughs> that'd be funny. Yeah, thing. Um. <laughs> Especially my bomb talk. Okay. I'll do that quite. Okay, I'm getting more than I probably should have because we're going to watch the game. 
Either you enjoy the antic or you don't. For like one half hour, it could get well, it could fuck a bit more on the free app and like give an hour. But for five minutes more, go. Or it could, or it could, just, it could redo anything. It could go get worse from the. I don't think for half hour it could go to judgment point because it looks goofy. And some shows like this are kind of start out like this and they just kind of get more interesting. I think I'm going to that better, but I kind of liked it okay. You know, I don't think it was that bad or anything. You know? Yeah. Then again, there's some show people think start out bad and start out good to begin with. So, back about my phone. But this show, I don't know. I can see it getting better. I hope it'll get worse, but I'm pretty okay. I think it's pretty talented and I feel like he might have found something here, but it won't be. So that's all I have to say for Billy Dilly. It's alright, but hopefully it could buy above just okay with more episodes. Don't go, I don't know how quiet you're doing, but I hear it's just, it's a game. Yeah, from that point out, it's just all the game. And fucking, I hear Kyle on that level well and staying at Dolgo and Benton. I hear got worse. But, um, the, 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 the how cool weird in terms of quality for my I've I've seen much recently. Um, I do know we're a bullshit contract get 4chan started, so that's fun. Because 4chan totally meant you take care of me, right? But, okay, I'm rambling. You know, PB odds for, um, I don't know what episode next. Uh, Royal Problem, that's next. So, Canada, no idea if we give me anything. In between then, or anything extra in general, if a new show coming out, or other things to talk about, down it. So I shall see you then, and I will also talk to you on Twitter, this is how, if I like, I'll watch, I don't know, I'm not going to watch that stuff good now, but later I shall watch it, and I'll watch the rest of the film, and at the end of that, I'll probably form a review of how the years are going. Now, if you, excuse me, I got a uh,